with simple tests, you can measure your lung function at home. We will discuss three of the most useful tests you can do by yourself and how to interpret the results. The first test is the breath holding test. Breath holding can correlate with lung function, particularly the vital capacity of the lungs and the efficiency of gas exchange in the lungs. In other words, it provides information on how well your lungs supply oxygen to your body. For the test, sit down comfortably, relax, and breathe normally. Take a deep breath in, filling your lungs completely, and hold your breath for as long as possible. Start a stopwatch as soon as you finish inhaling. When you can no longer hold your breath, exhale slowly and stop the stopwatch before exhaling. If you can hold your breath for more than 50 seconds, it is considered very good indicating strong lung capacity and good oxygenation. Holding for 30 to 50 seconds is the normal range for most healthy adults. Holding for 20 to 30 seconds indicates reduced lung function, but this can sometimes be considered normal depending on individual factors, such as age, stress levels, smoking, or low fitness levels. If you can hold your breath for less than 20 seconds, it may indicate lung disease, most likely chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, or severe asthma. This result can also occur if a person is generally ill, for example, with heart failure or another serious cardiovascular disease. Fortunately, in most cases, you can improve your results with exercise, especially by running, swimming, cycling, and brisk walking, which all improve lung capacity and oxygenation while strengthening respiratory muscles. Diaphragmatic breathing, or belly breathing, and deep breathing exercises also enhance lung capacity and effectiveness. Short bursts of intense activity followed by rest, known as high-intensity interval training, can also improve the lung's ability to process oxygen quickly and effectively. The second test is the simple balloon test. This involves taking a deep breath and blowing into a balloon in one continuous breath. Measure the diameter of the balloon with a ruler or a string. This test measures lung capacity. The size of the balloon indicates your lung volume, a larger diameter suggests better lung capacity. For the test, use a standard latex balloon and a ruler. Take a deep breath in, and exhale into the balloon in one continuous breath. Try to avoid taking multiple breaths or stopping during exhalation. Now measure the diameter of the balloon. A measurement of more than 8 inches, or 20 centimeters, indicates good lung capacity. A measurement between 6 and 8 inches indicates average lung capacity, which is normal for people who are not athletes or physically active. A measurement of less than 6 inches suggests respiratory problems and weak respiratory muscles. Regular exercise and practicing balloon blowing can improve lung function. Weight management is also important for improving lung function. Practicing balloon blowing is generally healthy, but it can have some risks for those with serious hypertension and cardiovascular conditions because it temporarily increases stress on the body. The third test is the walking test, also called the 6-minute walk test. To perform this test, measure a distance of 30 meters, which is around 100 feet, and walk back and forth at a steady pace for 6 minutes. Record the distance covered. During the walk, use a pulse oximeter to monitor signs of breathlessness, fatigue, and discomfort and measure oxygen saturation levels before, during, and after the walk. At the end, record the distance covered. Covering a distance of 400 to 700 meters is considered healthy. Covering a shorter distance may indicate chronic heart failure or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Oxygen saturation may drop by around 4%, which can be normal, but a drop of more than 4% indicates lung problems, such as interstitial lung disease or severe chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Mild breathlessness can be normal for healthy individuals, but moderate or severe breathlessness indicates significantly decreased lung function.